let's look at the sketch feature if you click on the pencil say sketch click on the icon you got several features but let's just go straight to the draw click on the draw the option you'll get is you'll get access to uh, three different planes the bottom plane the right hand side and left hand side um, the bottom one is also the top plane as well because if we go to the top view um, we will be able to see from directly above so let's draw on the bottom plane um, just click once on your on anywhere on the plane and you can move your mouse either right left in any direction you want um, notice that there's a little uh, numerical value highlighted that says 60 mil at this stage you can actually type in a value that you like so let's for example let's type in 75 enter what you've done is you've created a line that's 75 millimeters long in that direction so let's go to our view cube click on top now we'll be able to get a better view of um, our line so we can go back to our sketch and go to draw and now we can continue drawing let's finish off this sketch I'm just going to create a, a random shape um, and then we're going to actually turn that into 3D so um, I can now continue to either enter the dimensions I want so you know if you want to do 120 you can do 120 um, or you can just freestyle and and that's just a matter of clicking where you want to go like so notice that you've got a snap line this kind of hatch line that's going across that actually is, is allowing you to make sure your um, accurate aligned to your other point um, which is a really handy tool um, so now we can continue on a cool feature of this is that if you click and drag click and drag you can automatically create your arcs um, like so click and drag click and drag click and drag what you need to do is once you come back to the starting point or to the end of to that beginning line that we did um, what happens is you enclose your shape um, it's important that you close your shape and when it gets highlighted blue then you know you've enclosed your shape which means you've um, returned back to your starting point um, it is at this point now where we can go to let's change our view first of all let's go to um, to click on the corner so we can see more of an isometric view and here we can go to um, extrude you click on the the highlighted area and you'll see that this um, vertical line appears with um, this symbol in the middle now that is your extrude distance manipulator you can click and drag on this visually you can click and drag to the height that you want or you can again type in a numeric value so if I type 45 there this my height for this shape will become 45 mils and there you have it our random shape that we've created so have a play with that it takes a little bit of time to get used to it but once you have a bit of a play remember don't be afraid because you can always just start a new sketch um, if you go to the top where it says new you can start a new sketch and, and just keep practicing and um, if you feel a bit confused just you know keep practicing and over time you'll really perfect your skills